Hi, everyone. This is Mr. Screenwright, and I'm... <clears throat> I'm Nick. Sorry about that. Allergies. T today, I'm making a Batman Begins-inspired diorama to celebrate Batman Day in September 2021. This project all started with a little light. A flashlight, to be exact. I had this in a drawer and thought it would be perfect for a bat signal on a rooftop. And yes, I did put a Duracell battery in this Energizer flashlight. Why? Well, because... Some men just want to watch the world burn. To start, I'm using this wooden box that I bought from Michaels. I'm using the drawer part of it. I went with the heart shape cut out because, you know, there's no other symbol I can think of that's more associated with the Dark Knight than hearts. But first, I needed to hide the bulk of this flashlight inside of the box, so I cut an oval shape into the top. Holy box, Batman. This is going to be the rooftop, so the light is going to sit at an angle inside of the top here. I needed the button on the other side to be accessible, but held in place, so I cut a block of foam for the base, and then I cut sort of a, a groove or a notch in there at an angle so the flashlight could sit in easily. And now I can turn it on and off, and I can even push it up and remove the flashlight to change the batteries if I need to. For such a tiny flashlight, this thing was super blinding. And so it's not going to be very fun to look at on the shelf right now. So I got some parchment paper and cut about 15 identical circles. I sanded the flashlight surface and used just a simple glue stick to layer the parchment paper circles on one, one at a time. It's already looking great. So great that it just fell out of my hand. But, you know, why do we fall? So we can learn to pick ourselves back up. The parchment paper diffused the light. That was step one, but this is the bat signal. We need the Cape Crusader symbol on here. Okay, fine, I'll go classic. But since I don't have any mob bosses around, I drew a bat symbol on a piece of styrene and cut it out, sanded it, painted it. Does it come in black? Of course it's black. And then I used a glue stick to attach that on top of the parchment paper. Now to get started on the building. I glued this foam down to help position the flashlight, and now I'm going to texture it with aluminum foil to give it sort of a concrete rooftop look. After peeling both sides of the foam board, I used that foam in the middle for each side of the box and scored it with lines on lines on lines to make a brick wall texture. I just sort of made up the design as I went. I cut windows where I thought they'd look good, and devastated, I actually did cut that heart into a square to become a large window. I think it took me about an hour and a half just to make all these brick lines though. I used the same foam to create details on top of the brick wall. I gave the roof overhang a little more bulk. I made a little rim of concrete around the side to break it up a little bit. I made a holy concrete slab, Batman, for the light to sit in. I had to cut it at an angle so that the light fits in snug and it's perfect. So now it's time for a layer of black Mod Podge as our base on all the foam. And then I dry brushed gray on top of that. I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. Sorry, I'm gonna need more colors than just black and gray. I painted a dark red on the brick and then added some browns on individual bricks to give it a little more variety. And to tie it all together, used a wash. And yes, Mr. Wayne, it does come in black. I used the wash and then followed that up with a paper towel to dab it. This really helped sell the dirty, gritty Gotham look I wanted. But now it's time for the Batman. I wasn't super concerned with scale, but this diorama figure I had was the perfect size compared to the flashlight, so I used it as a reference to help create a wire armature for, Bat for Batman. I created this skeleton extra long for now, and I used some simple gray clay for the first layer. This was just to sort of shape the skeleton and lock it in place. It didn't really matter what color it was, because it's not, not who you are underneath. It's, it's what you do that defines you, right? And sure, what he needed to do was go in the oven. Once that was baked, I trimmed the limbs and started layering on black clay and sculpting the bee man and, and arms out, ready to fly sort of pose so that his cape could drape across him. 
This is really just a process of layering on small bits of clay for Batsy's shoulders, muscles, abs, little blobs for his eyes and chin. I mean, this, this face kind of kills me though. Riddle me this everyone, why aren't you subscribed yet? Click the button below and the bell notification so that you can get a personal bat signal whenever I upload a new video. And if you're enjoying this video, please like it and leave a comment. It really helps share it and I love hearing what you guys think. Then I rolled out a thin layer of clay and cut out the shape of his cape. I used a little bit of gold on his belt since I was kind of going for this Batman Begins look. And at this scale, using Sculpey clay, I think it turned out great. I like it. I'm, I'm getting better at clay sculpting, but I've only adapted the clay. The bat, he was born in it, molded by the clay. Now, time for some finishing touches to the scene. I cut stirring sticks and glued them together to board up some of the windows. I mean, sure, it's supposed to be like the Gotham PD roof, but it's also the Gotham PD roof, if you know what I mean. So boarded windows seems like an okay decision. And for the window panes, I used Shrinky Dink plastic again. I've done this a couple times and I like it because it comes pre-frosted. So it, it's easier to hide that there's no interior. And then more stirring sticks were cut and shaped for the window frames. I even folded some paper accordion style to be the shades in the big window, just to give a little touch of, you know, something's actually inside here. Then I added a few final details to break up the bricks. I cut some styrene rod to be a drain pipe down the side and painted that silver. I added a few drops of Mod Podge's Dimensional Magic to be puddles on the roof. Again, just sort of that nice Gotham, dirty, grimy, rainy sort of feel. And then I gave it all a quick wash to blend in these new details. And it was time for the world's greatest detective to take his place. And now this is finished. So here it is. My diorama based on Batman Begins. It's not the model we needed, but it's the one we deserved, right? It's a pretty simple diorama, but it's the sort of thing that I just love looking at on my shelf between my Batman movies. Especially because I can turn that light on and, I don't know, it just all ties together really well. I really like it. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. And while you're here, check out these other videos of crafts I've made based on other movies, TV shows, or video games. And I'll see you in the next video. Same craft time, same craft channel, here on Mr. Screenwrite.